All right, welcome to another spectating duos with myself, Martin Walsh. You guys know the game. We watch a match and we spectate people and disconnect our controller because that's just how it goes here. Um, no, we, we're going to kill ourselves. We're then going to watch again whoever the game decides to throw us on board with. And we're going to commentate, spectate. We're going to be able to kind of be the, the side passenger of the people we're on board with and able to analyze their game, what they're doing well, what they could improve on. And, you know, with that being said, help improve your game as well. Now, we're already on board with someone in the gouge. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. They don't seem to be too bad. Yeah, they're not too bad at all. The Muffinator, what a name. Pre-aiming, has a little bit of a snap, throws a grenade that way. And then again, snaps again. I'm just peeking. The aim of my game is literally just to die. And now we're going to be jumping on board with maybe the Muffinator or someone else. 146 people still in the game. The Muffinator playing um, solo duos, in fact. Um, he just went straight into the gulag. Maybe broke his leg somewhere. You know, he's got good movement off the bat. LC10, he's going to be grabbing the dead silence and looting his way through train. <laughs> Didn't even see that guy there. He's going to be looking for... Oh, he's going to be looking for the partner. I actually saw him behind the heady and behind the desk. But I think he was just looking too quickly. And there you are. Oh, that was another duo. Okay, you've got a rose skin uh, resin his mate right now. Well, that's the end of the Muffinator's game. Comes in. Personally, I think his sensitivity was way too high way too high and whilst these guys are just going to be running through train station again some good um settings to have is again if you notice again that you use maybe six six seven seven the most popular ones to use but you reckon up close you know when you're ads in it's still a bit too fast lower this a little bit if you see maybe you're you know when you're aiming down it's going too far ahead of people yeah, you lower it if it's just behind people then you know bump it up a notch same with the high zoom maybe using like Over snipers here. assault rifle four times scope and uh if, you, if your here. scope is trailing behind then yeah bump this up however if it's just ahead of people you know turn it down typically i use a one and then i kind of like go with this to like 0 0.9 with the high zoom to like 0 0.5 I feel like that's my sweet spot. Best way to do this is to go into plunder and, um, you know, just try and track people down. See where you're, you know, where you're aiming, whether it's ahead or, you know, uh, behind. And then adjust it accordingly. Uh, absolutely easiest way to do that. <clears throat> Again, jumping on board with uh, Juna right now. I believe this is the row skin. They're going to go for their loadout. Great movement from Juna. Um, again, rocking the Rose call-in title as well. I don't think enough people talk about call-in titles, honestly. Back in, like, Modern Warfare, um, like, 1, 2, and 3, you know, call-in titles were, like, the things to get, the things to aim for. All right, popping the UAV, he's going to grab himself, again, a pretty good class right there. The AMAX and the Cold War MP5. Looking at his UAV right now, let's see where people are. Three people above him on train station. Looks like he's going to go for the ladder. He's got four people, three people over there. It's looking like it's going to be a messy match, and that's exactly what we want. Um, Jacko looks like he's going to be taking the stairs and probably bump into the person that is just on the left right now. Going for a little peek, you know, taking his time a little bit. You know, he's probably going to pop steady. There you are, pop steady. This person below him is not really going to have a clue. Checking left and right. And they know he's round here roughly. Again, this guy's running the stun. Let's jump on board with uh, Jacko. Jacko is letting off some shots. There you are. Oh, pops the stun. And Jacko's going to be able to make it to safety. Let's see if we can jump on board with Juna. There we are. Got one. Gets the finish. That was so unfortunate. Again, if you do throw stuns at console players, you know, the aim assist helps so, so much. A little bit of an unfair advantage. Just a little bit. 
But there we are, gonna get the second res of the game and his second kill as well. 2,000 um, on Jacko right now. Again, I think the aim of their game is probably just to keep on getting uh, UAVs, popping them. But let's have a look at the um, the map right now. Center map, we're looking in between Lumber and Farmland. Um, stadium to play. Not my favorite circles. Again, honestly, my favorite circles are Hospital, um, Promenade East, uh, Downtown. Um, they're, they're typically that's where I love to end the game. I mean, you, you, if you're rocking a machine gun SMG, you know, you're in heaven or the car 98, you know, it's pretty good going. Right, popping a, uh, popping a dot over here. I mean, that's where, again, there's still some red dots um, happening over there. Again, oh, car pulling up on the right. Here you are. Coming right towards this guy. There you are, going to get some shots off. Oh. <laughs> and Juna picking up a third kill right there, blowing up the car. Just making it look too easy. Bot with Jacko's name, I, I definitely believe that. Definitely is playing a bit like a bot. And here we are, again, off for more kills. Still lots of shots around this area, which is where they're heading right now. Precision airstrikes coming in over ahead. And we're gonna find out what exactly they're in for right now. Juna definitely, again, you can tell how disciplined this player is. Just with the approach they take. I know me personally, I wanted to get stuck into the action, feeling like I can take on any team. Not really respecting my opponents. And here we have, like, again, Juna is just taking his time, scoping it out. He knows, like, right, Circle's going to be here in a minute. He has a little bit of time to play with. Let's just see how he approaches this. Jacko, again, firing shots right now. Maybe gaining the aggro. If there are teams in between. Oh, here you are. Helicopter just takes off. Great shots by uh, Juna there. He's going to go over to the garage, maybe pick up his teammate. Teammate's running over right now. They're probably going to just dip, maybe try and get some more damage onto the helicopter. There you are. Helicopter's gone. That's their escape route gone. <laughs> oh, no. Probably thinking you can make that jump without pulling your chute. You can if you jump off the lower edge of the Over roof. Not the, not the higher bit. Probably should aim towards the stairs to then go through the door. Probably be the best idea. I mean, he's got a gas mask as well. Um, There you are. Res was coming off anyway. Okay, wasted a little bit of time there. End up just a little bit behind. Yeah, oh, and Jacko's there. Not only going to get the res, he's going to get the kill onto Pro Gamer as well. GG's. I think um, Jacko's now on two kills. Yeah. Oh, no, one kill. Jacko's on one kill. Running the Mac 10. Lovely. I wonder what other gun he's running as well. Nice skin right there on the Mac 10 as well. Oh, he's rocking the Ram, I believe. On the M13. Okay, we're probably not going to see... Too many more kills um, coming in from Jacko right there with the M13. Juna, on the other hand, again, AMAX MP5. He's, he's ready. He's ready to go. And right away, right now, I mean, this is the second circle. It's pulling them all the way over. Look at this. The second circle, only half of the circle is in. I mean, numbers are going to dramatically drop. Probably going to go for Ghost right now. Yeah, he's gone um, double time Ghost and Amps. Not too bad. Sticking with his Amax and his uh, MP5. So this this is it. I don't, I don't like this play right now. Again, obviously, Jacko and Juno, they feel comfortable with this. Juno unable to pick up the kill. Yeah, there you are. I, got the wheel. I think J Juna Juna's gonna come in with the truck right now. I don't think he's behind him. No, he'd, he'd already moved. He'd already moved. 
Yeah, Jacko, Jacko Jr. just need to go right now. What I would aim for is honestly just to try and drive over the bridge, kind of behind stadium, and towards lumber. Towards lumber or farmland, and keep that position right now. You know, a third of the lobby left. You want to go for the position, and you're going to be able to pick up some more kills. If I'm feeling, you know, extra brave, you know, I'm feeling greedy, I'd probably go downtown. I'll probably come to this rooftop up here. Juno, get running over someone just there. Now parking at the top, looking for the teammate. There he is, right to his left. He's gonna try. Oh, he's not gonna. He's just gonna jump out, challenge it. Respect. On six kills now. Truck dipping down. I feel like they may and try and keep the hilltop position and try and gatekeep. They have still got their truck available. I feel like he might go for it. Definitely the safest way to kind of keep on pushing forwards. Again, people do not use the vehicles enough in Warzone. I mean, if, if we look, look at, look at the map. Look how many vehicles you can spot right here. You know, people need to be using that for, for quick map rotations, easy to reposition on a fight, and definitely a good way. Definitely a good way to just distract the enemy. Whether one teammate carries on driving, the other one jumps out, gets one beam, takes the aggro, and the guy in the vehicle jumps out and starts firing as well. Definitely the best way. Now Juno coming in, scoping out, sliding around. Great movement once again. What is their aim? Are they going to go pick up the bounty? Yep, I definitely think so. I think Jack's climbing to one right now. Going to replenish on plates. There you are. And their bounty, not too far away. Just a village left of stadium. <clears throat> but guys, yeah, if you do like this content, if you do like the breakdowns, you do learn something from it as well, then yep, drop a sub and uh, a like as well. A comment of um, whether you want to see solos, duos, uh, trios or quads or if you'd want me to kind of do a private match and then break down kind of people's gameplay there either way let me know I'm down for absolutely everything I love this content because I love to break things down I'm a very strategic player myself and again when it comes down to playing for the win which we should all do every game you know there's so many ways to do it uh, I personally believe the best way or the easiest way not necessarily the best. I mean, the best is to, you know, end up on 30, 40, 50 kills with a dub. The most satisfying and entertaining win there is. But when you're a high-scored player, you do have to play a little slower and respect your opponents. Um, and then, then it's all about position. So what you want to do is just get the center of the circle and just maintain it. A lot of high school players that only want the wins will go for recons. They'll land at the train. And, uh, and then from there... They'll just go for it, you know, they'll just hold it down, kill anyone heading their way. But this gameplay is a little bit more entertaining. You know, you've got Juna popping another deadie, really maximizing these deadies. It's gonna jump through the window. There you are, gets one down. Oh, and what was that? Jacko getting the finish onto Danny. Juno with no self revive. Jacko with 17,040 seconds before. The circle comes in. Is he going to be able to make a play? No, he's not because Melee is sitting at the top of the stairs with Estrella. Next gen tactics. There we are. But Juno and Jacko not out of the game just yet. Both got their gulag. So we're going to spectate them right now and see what happens. What a tactic. One teammate jumping out of the top window, flanking behind. Juno, you know, able to uh, to call it out and they get the kill. But then goes to the stairs and sees this sneaky guy crouching at the top. Wow. Now, Juno's been um, prepared to fight. Um, Jacko. Jacko's already won his gulag. Okay, here we are. If Jacko can win, Juno definitely can. Juno, I again feel like he's carrying the team. Goes for the double bunny hop. Gets on top of the tank. And just doesn't see him. Just does not see him. 
again, a good thing to do there. Again, with the uh, with the bunny hop he did then, you know, it makes the other player believe that he's gone to the other side of the I tank is then to re-peek it. Um, Jacko coming in right now. I don't agree with this play. He's, he's, he's not got enough for absolutely anything. Gets one down, man. Gets one down. He tries to go for the finish. Um, unfortunate play. No, I don't understand. He, he wanted to go to the buy station. He had 3,500. Not enough for a res. A waste. A waste, in my opinion. You know, he could have landed farmland outskirts here to try and get like 500 for the shop. You know, and then played for their second loadout. Either way, we're on board with um, Tansy right now. Six kills using the Krig. Love the skin. Probably the best skin in the game. And using the um, Open Season Car 98. Again, my favorite skin for it as well. I wish they released some more Modern Warfare skins, especially now they're doing reactive camos. Terrible play right there. You know, jumping right in front of the doorway with a Krig. The other team allowing them to get their self reses off. Gonna go. Probably the messiest fight I've ever seen. Why are you jumping right in the doorway? Unless you have a shotgun, you wanna be pulling away and looking through the doorway. You don't wanna be, you know, taking all the bullets. Uh, onto Coco. Able to get the kill in the gulag. Five kills up. Now let's see where they should land. If it was me, again, I'd land lumber. Most likely. You know, you've got you got a few recons there. Look at me most wanted. Never, guys, please. Never, ever, ever. Ever, ever. Do. Um, a most wanted. In circles like, like this. This is not circle three. This is basically like circle five. Half of it is cut off. Maybe if all of it was there, yeah, do it if you've got like a car or definitely a helicopter. But in circles like this, do not do a most wanted. You know, people will hunt you down and it'll be like the easiest free kill ever. So right now, we've got uh, Auntie Coco able to get one plate. Got a pistol, got a Swiss. Probably just going to make the play for his loadout from where he died. 40 seconds to do so. They're probably still in the building. There you are, Satchel as well. Satchel, there we are. Movement's a little slower. Probably not the best of players. Again, I, I, I think if you've landed here and you've got all that, all that way to run across the open, you need to grab your loadout or you need to get the car and rotate now. There you are. Swaps over to the sniper. Oh, Tansy was actually in the uh, in the gulag as well. Just got killed by uh, Ant Days. Totally unaware of the uh, of the truck behind him. Gas is coming in. Totally uh, unaware of that as well. <coughs> Gonna go for the uh, truck. Has he left it too late? Should be fine. There you are. Truck actually did a, a really smart rotation to try and get some more kills. Maybe they finished up the other team. Eight teams, 14 people left right now. There you are, taking a lot of damage. Maybe that was the Strella guy from before. Bearded villain, what a name. More shots going on. Bearded villain, there we are. Taking out another opponent on six kills. Again, coming up into the circle here. Not a lot of cover. Probably want to be pushing towards the left to get the high ground. You know, expecting people to be in this building here. You know, we've got a truck pushing up through the right hand side as well. I mean, that building's great, but that position up here is even better. 
We're we'll seeing some different angles right now. Again, the Car 98 making another appearance. Again, pairing up with a Mac 10 as well. Finding the self res. Easy peasy. Gonna try and get some snipes onto this truck. Realizes, you know, it's not worth the time and hassle. The truck's not gonna bother them, so they're probably not gonna let rip. Getting a bit nervous now. Again, you've got to understand there's 10 people, so it's all about predicting who's where. I think there was only one guy with a truck, so you've got, again, you've got these two, you've got that person, so that leaves seven other people. Where are they going to be? You're going to have a duo here. You're going to have a, a duo there. That's that's two, that's four, so three other people probably. Again, this building and that building there. If not, someone up here. Definitely the prime funny. time position to be in. Oh, two res is coming in. Dropping into nine people right now. Going to go for a cheeky shot. Okay, back down to eight. Landing on the loadouts. People are already there spectating, watching the loadouts. You know, it's it's very hard to kind of be able to do that successfully. So you've got to you've got to play it smart. In in this circle, is it worth going for ghost? Yeah, I think if you know you've not been seen, definitely go for ghost. That element of surprise is going to help you. And maybe have a fully loaded class with ghost. Here we are. What class is he going to choose? Got the Amax Ghost. There you are. I think he's getting Going rid back. of his sniper right now. Pulling out his heartbeat. Knows he's up here. Shots coming in from God knows where. Oh. Who's... Oh my god. Roskin sliding underneath right now. With what gun? Finish the job. Notorious. Definitely a shot. I think that's the striker. Slid right under his field of view. And there you are. There are four teams and five people left. So you've got this one team and three solos. Throwing stuns. This guy's on eight kills. Let's jump on board with Notorious as well. On 12 kills. Level 358. Amax Damascus. Uh, this is the team we should have been on. Using the LC10 as well. Again, a fan favorite. Playing like his life depends on it right now. Now you've got to look at this circle right now. You know, if someone's been up here... They're probably rotating right along the top right here to get this position. There's no buildings except from the one they're in right now for cover. Zero. But they're going to rotate full right. Again, try and go for this high ground. Pop in, pop in the, uh, the heartbeat sensor. There you are. We've got shots here. Moving out. Clusters coming in. Maybe would have waited a little bit longer just to kind of use that. Still three solos. Make that two solos. It's a 2v1v1. Should be an easy win for these guys right now. I mean, you know, they're rocking on kills. They've got the position. There you are. This guy, is, this guy has no idea. Ends up shooting the tree, though. And he's now going to be stuck in that building. As soon as he makes an appearance, it's going to be GG's. He's going to try and get to the trailer. There you are. 2v1. Last guy's behind the trailer. GG's. Moving. There you are. I just saw his foot slide through the bottom of the container right there. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe like, oh, he's there, like maybe he died. No, he knows he's there. This is it. He's going to swoop in right now. He's going to try and give the execution. Ah, so cheeky. And boom, just like that, the war zone win. All right, guys. Yes, if you did enjoy that, um, the breakdown of the tactics, you know, the rotations of where to go, where to be, and uh, what the players were doing there, then please drop a like and a sub. I'll see you guys next time.
on uh, spectating duos, trios. You let me know what you want me to do. And have a good day.